The breath of life and the spirit of man. In Hebrew, the word breath in Genesis chapter two was seven. Is neshema, which is translated spirit in Proverbs chapter twenty was twenty seven. This means that the breath in Genesis chapter two was seven. Is the human spirit, and this spirit is the lamb of the Lord. In ancient times, people used oil lamps. The lamp contained oil, which was burned to give light. Within us, we have a lamp to contain the spirit of God as the oil. Although we have such a lamp within us, we need the divine oil to come into it, enabling the lamp to burn and shine. Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty seven says that the spirit of man searches all the inward parts of our being. When God as oil comes in to ignite our lamp, we will be enlightened and searched. The Bible tells us clearly that the breath of God has become our human spirit, and that our spirit is God's lamp to contain God as the oil and to give us light. The spirit of man was specifically formed by God. The spirit of man was specifically formed by God. Zechariah chapter twelve verse one says that God stretched forth the heavens, laid the foundation of the earth, and formed the spirit of man within him. In this universe are three equally important things: the heavens, the earth, and the spirit of man. The heavens are for the earth; the earth is for man, and man has a spirit for God. God created the heavens for the earth. Without the heavens, the earth cannot grow anything. The earth is for man, and man has a spirit within him to contain God. Thus, man is the center of the entire universe, and the center of man is his spirit. This is very important. As far as God is concerned, if there were no spirit within man, man would be an empty shell. If there were no man on this earth, the earth would be a void, and the heavens useless. We praise the Lord that the heavens serve the earth. The earth serves man, and man has a spirit to receive God. Praise the Lord that there is a spirit in man. The spirit of man is where the spirit of God works, and the Lord stays. The spirit of man is where the spirit of God works. Romans chapter eight verse sixteen says that the spirit of God witnesses with our spirit. Therefore, the Holy Spirit works with the human spirit. Second Timothy chapter four verse twenty two says, "The Lord be with your spirit." The Lord Jesus is now with our spirit. This is where He dwells. To make man a living soul, God made man a living soul that man may have a soul as his person, with his personality and as an organ to contact the psychological realm. In between our outward body and our inward spirit is our soul, our person. By means of the soul, we contact psychological things. I have previously mentioned some physical things and some spiritual things. Now I want to speak about psychological things. Take the example of joy. Joy is neither material nor spiritual. It is psychological. If you come to me and find that I am unhappy with you, how will you know that I am unhappy? You will know by means of your soul, your psychological part. It is very clear that God has made us in three parts: with a spirit, a soul, and a body.